What I find often challenging though is when we attend like events like this, um, it's usually the people that um, have chosen to be here. Um, and I think, but what's really important is that we can all sort of, even with this exercise, agree that um, the human factor is the most challenging um, because the structures, the policies, things like that, you can work around those things, um, but it's working with emotions and reactions and people's mindsets. My three letter word for it was ego. Not a lot of them agreed or they didn't like that word, but really it's about the willingness to change and the willingness to experiment with different practices and different idea ideologies, pedagogies, everything. Teachers, uh, they need more teacher to student communication because sometimes things get misinterpreted or people miss things and then you have to make it up and it gets lost in translation. So I thought teacher student communication was definitely one of the bigger problems. Lack of student engage, student teacher engagement and figuring out what people's passions are and also lack of taking into account the schedules of students and what they do outside of their school time. We had resources and money was always is always an issue and I guess the collaboration between parent, student, teacher, admin, everybody involved being on the same page. Specifically at our school, it would be the technology and letting us kind of use it to our advantage because not all of us want to abuse it and just text and go on Facebook. There's advantages to it that we can use to help benefit our education. Lack of trust. It still comes back to the fact we have to be willing to wrap our decisions around what's best for students rather than what's best for parents or what's best for teachers or what's best for the adults making the decisions. We need to get to build relationships and build trust so that we make sure all of the change reflects what's best for students. Somehow along the line, student creativity and student curiosity was squashed and it became about the marks. One of the big things for me is getting rid of the traditional classroom in two senses, one in terms of grade level, so getting rid of traditional groupings based on age, and also the physical spaces. You know, I see we're still building brand new schools with traditional four-walled classrooms, and I think uh, that's, that's definitely a barrier and, and a frustration. So we need to be cautious as we move forward in terms of what might be the right uh, teaching and learning environment in terms of the physical space. I think that one of the things that is showing us is that we do have to do more work with the belief systems and changing those mindsets and I think that we have to go back and start in the way teachers are educated to begin with and start moving in new generations of teachers that have a better understanding uh, you know, of what school is or should be. The professional development of teachers, it's so um, piecemeal and sort of on the edge, it should be fundamental to what you do in school and therefore you need time and space in order to work with colleagues and develop projects that really move the curriculum into the classroom in a way that connects to the community and makes total sense to students. So a kid never says, oh why are we doing this? It makes total sense why we're doing this. We also saw our silos as very big barriers, how my subject is the most important subject and there's no other subject. So that cross-curricular nature needs to be addressed and needs to be implemented somehow. Educating the public, making sure that they know what's going on. Educators might know what universal design is, Century 21 learning, and uh, personalized learning are all skills that we hear within the educational field. But as a parent, as an individual in the community, they're not aware of all what's going on. So we need to get out there and educate them to get them on board so that they too can start thinking outside of the box. One thing that the administrators and people in higher levels need to consider is that you can't just ask the adults, you can't just ask the students. You need, you need to um, consult everybody.